This is amazing. We're in the middle of a farm. We've got 5G, 5 bars. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. We're live. <laughs> Maybe this is a little bit less stable than I was hoping for. Hello. Here with Seabrook and uh, Total Strangers. I have the pumpkin love the but it's Savi's Island. <laughs> this is an island on uh, the Oregon side of the river, borders, well, the Columbia and the Columbia River Slough. That's good, thanks. Hey, Urban, hello, bye-bye. Oh, oh, the kids went by. Ah, I'm sorry, this is so shaky. Okay, it's like forlorn. Ah. Don't worry, I'm using the rear-facing cam. Yeah, I'm not like, oh, yeah, flying from the track, and here's some strangers I'm going to put on the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, we're the King's Men. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is uh, rather bumpy, but, you know. What, what can you expect out of the suspension of a hay wagon? <laughs> okay, this is Steve Pro. He's with me. Hello. Hi, guys. I'm well enough to go out today, and I'm not going to miss every day for Halloween. <laughs> but yeah, it's my first day outside. Huh? My, my favorite oh, wow. holiday is yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah. I get to do all the cooking I want. Oh heck yeah! And you can cook a turducky, turducken, tofurkey. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> a meal for everybody at the table, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but somebody yeah. said Thanksgiving is my favorite meal. Or favorite holiday, because of the meal. Ah! Hi there. Hi, y'all. <laughs> yeah, right? We can be playing with So, um, I'm going to try that one day. Turducken. We get a... It's what right in the back of the fun. I did not have a ring on my phone. I drop it in a puddle. Ah! <laughs> wow. What? What? Oh, yeah, that's all a mud puddle. Wow. You can almost canoe in that. Okay, we arrived. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not particularly healthy today, but I, I thought a hay wagon would ride would be nice and peaceful. Not really, but okay. But this is where you get your pumpkins. Everybody else is getting off. Get them pumpkins. And um, it's a hay wagon to the pumpkins. And it's a hay wagon ride to leave the pumpkin area. Shall we? Should we go look at the assortment? Yes, let's go into the mud. Okay. Do you guys want me to go see the pumpkins? Vote now. Not really, but yeah. Okay, we're gonna do it anyway, but pretend like you had a say in that, okay? It'll be fun. Right, <laughs> okay, hi there. Okay. Thank you for the ride, it's wonderful. Hey, yeah. 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 Cool. <laughs> all right, excuse me. All right, if people of all walks of life here, mostly Portland weirdos. But that's why, I, you know, I say that affectionately. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, here's the thing. There's a wildfire in the background. So yes, this is a wildfire video. Can you guess where it is? Sorry. I realize I can't talk well. Uh, looming over the situation is a giant mushroom cloud called the Nakia Creek Fire, and it's kind of disintegrated, but it's that thing behind us. That's the Washington side of the Columbia. Nakia Creek Fire, N-A-K-I-A, -A, pronounced Nakia. Thanks for that um, <clears throat> big dog. He showed me everything about it. Yeah, hey, stranger, Evan. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Um, that, that is the remnant of the mushroom cloud right there. That's Washington State, just over the river. And I got a good uh, video of it just a few minutes ago when it was a perfect mushroom cloud, but a little bit of 
of wind has happened to uh, kind of break it up. But like here we are at a pumpkin patch. It is late October <coughs> in the Pacific Northwest, middle of the wet season. And then there's a dang wildfire um, mushroom cloud looming over the situation. Never seen that before in my life. Maybe, maybe won't again. Who knows? Maybe it's a trend of just the beginning of new things to come. But <clears throat> about that fire real quick, that seems to have been a, a clear case of arson. And I'm thinking of trying to fundraise to um, put a Crime Stoppers bounty on the on uh, information leading to an arrest because I don't think it gets any more clear than uh, the fact where it was started and filmed by a bystander by somebody with pyrotechnic firework guns, like handheld pistols. Um, <coughs> that's only used in pyrotechnics. So we're not talking flare guns. We're talking about the ones for like uh, concerts and stuff. There's a there. Look out! Look out! There's a bee. C probe just had a wasp on him. Oh yeah, there's people with the pumpkins. Isn't that cute? So he he gets stung by stuff all the time. When we were filming in California. I mean, he got this massive sting on his neck, and I had to make a poultice for him. Of um, I put that's a because C probe is so sweet. Right, that's why the meat bees love you. Exactly. And so I have my, my drive, he's, <coughs> sorry. Don't worry, if I get too sick to drive, he's there, he's there to help. So um, felt good enough to leave the house today because of my having a companion and he's taking good care of me, so. And uh, my mom too, shout out to my mom. I wish you could be at the pumpkin patch with me, mom. Um, Savvy's Island is one of the best places to go in Oregon for pumpkin patches. It's just like virgin, you know, non, non-industrialized farmland, you know, just very similar to the way it was when the Indians were here exclusively. There's several ghost towns here. There's a, a Native American ghost town called the Sunken Village. Um, there's also an old fur trade fort, which I don't know if anybody knows the location of it. But a couple other, uh, I think the Smith or the Bybee House, it's um, historical. But all of these barns and stuff are, are mostly 1800s here. And if you wanted to see classical architecture from the Pacific Northwest and just this kind of landscape, you can't beat it. Uh, other good farms are over in Marion County, which we had the option to do, but um, I think I'm going to try that for tomorrow. Uh, the Roloff Farm is a big hit. That's where the, the Little People Big World is filmed, and that's in Hillsboro. That's another one that I was tempted to go to. I have uh, I met Amy Roloff before and had my picture taken with her, and I had no idea she was famous. I was like, um, so people in the crowd say you have a TV show. And I'm looking you know, down at Amy Roloff, and she's dressed up as a pumpkin. And she goes, yeah. <laughs> had no idea that they were like huge stars and um, I finally my mom said we don't have a television and she goes oh okay I thought we were really cute and really quaint oh man anyway that's my if you want me to go to Roloff Farm tomorrow and try to live stream it or whatever they would allow I can if you guys want or I go to another farm health allowing but I, my health really sucks right now. It's, it's really scary, really damn scary. But I'm trying not to think about that right now. Um, I'm out of the hospital, but more tests that really suck are on the way. So just trying to have a day off from thinking about that whole affair. So uh, if you want to ask me about that at the end, please, or next stream, that would be best. OK, pumpkin time. Shall we find a pumpkin? Mm -hmm. C probe mm -hmm. says, uh-huh. Are you guys uh, hearing us okay? This is the selfie cam on the uh, S22 here is not very flattering to my face, but um, is is the volume and stuff okay? Because I, I, I could do this. I could talk like right next to it if you wanted me to. Yeah, and, and thank you for all the thoughts and prayers, guys. Thank you. Um, that's, that's one hell of a scary thing to, you know, experience. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Twitter. Um, I've been asking for prayers and stuff because I'm either totally fine or dying or close to it. And I don't know which. So, lovely. 
but it's the kidneys. That's all I'm going to say right now. Um, take care of your kidneys. I don't drink, do drugs, smoke, or anything like that. <clears throat> but, um, heck, just make sure you get your checkups and everything. All right, guys, it's pumpkin quest time. Now, okay, what are we looking for in a pumpkin? That guy has a good idea. He's, he's got one catapult size. Okay, let's just take a vote. <clears throat> size of the pumpkin. Should it be wee? Should it be small? Should it be medium? Should it be large? Vote now. <laughs> Saddle Trap says, are you going to wait for the great pumpkin to rise on Halloween? <laughs> Maybe. You know, speaking of the, that, you know, stuff, um, C Probe is a super Snoopy fan. And I think there was a Snoopy Halloween thing. Snoopy was in the Charlie Brown Halloween thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I kind of like this one over here. Let's, let's take a look at this guy. This is an authentic Oregon pumpkin, guys. Hey, medium for the at-home, Strange says. Sherlock Jones, hey, by the way, as big as you want to carry. Oh, I, it's, I mean, I got... Yeah, that's the thing. I've got, I've got him. I've got Seaprode. You've Seaprod. got two pumpkins already. Beautiful white one and the little mini decorative one. Yeah, we do have a beautiful white one, and he did carry that, so i got, I got to say. It was 16-pounder. Uh, get the biggest one, then? Thanks a lot. <laughs> He's carrying it, so you're fired. <laughs> you can't leave the show now. You're you're part of the. Hey, you're in a contract. You can't just switch. You know. You know, this is like Hollywood. You can't just switch. You can't just go from MGM to Paramount or something. You're stuck with me, Chicky Baby, or you'll never work in this town again. I mean, show me the contract. <laughs> somebody, quick, draft a contract and forge it. We, we will. Union rules my, say otherwise. My legal team will show you that contract. <laughs> Hurry up, guys. Hurry. Okay. I'm part of the union. No. You can't unionize. This is a right to work. Crap, Oregon is not a right to work state. That's it. Oh, are you going on strike? You going on strike? Do I need to? Or do we want to be reasonable? They always go on strike in the holiday. This is not fair. Abuse of power. This is abuse of power. All right. You know what, guys? I liked this one, but look at it. There is a flaw. There's something in there. I've seen Stranger Things, and I know better than to get a pumpkin with a with a, with a messed up black hole in it. You know. Okay, guys. Um. I don't think it allows me to switch the camera around like the self. Does it? Let me see. This is the YouTube app, which sucks for Android. Does it? Oh, okay, I can. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'm using the uh, other side. Cool. <clears throat> YouTube app has evolved. Okay, great. So <clears throat> I now have the T-Mobile plan, the 5G Super one. Oh, there's the, isn't that a wholesome thing right there? I mean, never mind the whole burning of a, whatever that is in the background, but it's a hay wagon ride. How cute. <clears throat> okay, so we've got, thanks to your donations, and thank you everybody who has done this, really keeping, keeping me alive here. This downtime's been awful. I feel like crap that I haven't been able to stream, but I've essentially been on um, <laughs> bedridden duty, sleeping around the clock. I slept 18 hours a couple days ago. And didn't feel like I slept at all, so, um, but am I getting my good rest? Yeah. Um, I haven't had a fever or anything yet. Wow. Okay, so, and hi everybody, and hi, I can't see everybody's chat. Sherlock says, you'll know a nice one when you find it. Try to picture the face you want to carve in it. Yeah. That's a great tip. That's a good tip. Okay, I'm sorry for anybody I'm missing chat for. Um, darkness is going to fall uh, eventually here. That's the sun. See that? That thing on the tip of my finger is the sun. That's about all the sunlight we get this time of year. Poor Seaprobe. 
um, stuck here without sunlight. But you left Las Vegas, didn't you? I miss the sun and the warmth and the dryness, <clears throat> but especially the sunshine. Yeah, I convinced him to move to the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> He's grinning big, see? Yes. <laughs> yes. He's still not sure this is the right climate. Uh, he's stuck here now. He's already got a driver's license. Ha, 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 ha. So, anyway. Um, all right, yes. Picture the face. What do we want to carve on it? What do we want to carve on it? Huh? I'm asking you. Oh, a goblin. A goblin? Okay, but what would the face of a goblin look like? Ugly. <clears throat> of course. Ugly. Okay. It's, it's real big help there. Okay. All right. Carve a cat. Yeah, okay. Well, wishes to you then. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there's a virus in Canada called RVS. You know, I was really disappointed in the ER. I believe I had COVID. I'm pretty dang sure I had COVID. It um, had some of the similarities as when I had it when the first strain hit. Oregon, like back when, uh, before, before it was announced that it was in the United States, I had that first, first strain. That was like a weird, um, super cold that never went away with weakness, fatigue, terrible confusion, mild fever, and a stuffy and you know nose that just lasted forever, and um, you know some I lost my sense of smell and stuff back then and had some stomach problems but uh, this time around you know I had my sense of smell and so uh, it took me a long time to realize that's what it is uh, that that uh, rapid test I think was completely fake uh, result um, other people on Twitter said that it was like a it was like a mountain up and down up and down you're fine you're crashed you're fine you're crashed from day to day like two days of being awful like oh god and then you're know, like third day I'm getting better and then you crash again and so that's one of the new variants. Um, and uh, these, these old nasal swab tests are not doing it. So I went to the ER and I said, dude, I'm pretty sure I have COVID. So I went in with a mask and everything. And um, <clears throat> I was hoping they were gonna test me. Spotted mountain fever, no rash. It's a good guess, no rash, but I had fever and chills. And I, guys, I don't want to worry about my health right now. But, um, I swear God, we'll, t we'll talk about that next time, okay? Yeah that um that if you feel like you're like real sick but then you two days later you're like oh my third day i'm getting better but then you crash again uh just after trying to go back to doing your thing you know um that's what i was trying to do i was like crap i've got to go back to the mosquito fire i've got to go to cover the nakia creek fire i've got to do this and that and plus i had to um deal with the the I almost said a bad word the, the people that screwed up um, the siding of the house and caused another leak and the um, I have to sue them over the, the window damage. Um, long story, I had to pull all my computer away from the windows, the entire setup, hundreds of pounds of stuff from the desk to the, the tower to, you know, three monitors, well, TVs, not monitors. Um, plus a whole bunch of external hard drives, plus a filing cabinet and blah, blah, blah. Black mold, that was a good, um, that's, that's a good guess too. Um, I, I was absolutely crashed again after doing just that small endeavor of moving stuff around the room. So my, my public service announcement is if you feel like you just have a regular runny nose, you don't have a fever or anything, but you get out of breath if you um, do almost nothing. Like even just squatting and then rising. I was out of breath and had to sit down. And then um, my mom took my pulse. And it was just um, my resting pulse, which is usually like 60 or something. Because I'm a former, you know, amateur athlete. Um, was something crazy. It was, it was um, like 85. <laughs> and it just didn't stop. Like I would just sit there. Okay, we're in the good, good pumpkin area right now. The other area was all picked over. Yeah, we're in the good stuff now. Okay, we had we had to go to the promised land. See where we came from back there. Where we are now. Okay. So
So, yeah, go, go ahead and, uh, see probe, go ahead and um, vet those candidates on that side. I'll vet these over here. Teamwork. So, um, anyway, what I was talking about is, I'm just trying to warn the public here that uh, if you're just totally out of breath for like no reason, that's probably the COVID thing. And there is that RVS um, respiratory virus. It's mostly affecting children. Oh God, I'm walking in the most hideous crap. Uh, I just noticed that. Okay, I'm gonna hose these shoes off, I guess. I'm just not gonna think about it. At least I didn't wear my Gucci's out here, you know. Um, <clears throat> the COVID weakened me and me trying to get everything ready to go back to streaming like ASAP and do a whole bunch of favors that people had called in and moving my desk back and stuff and all this stuff weakened me so bad it just opened me up to uh, other infections and it was completely silent but um, I then began internal bleeding and all this stuff that I finally eventually found out about um, shock of your life you know so, um, I was totally massively infected, um, and everything opportunistic uh, came by, you know. So, um, I don't know, I, I, that's my best theory right now, but at the ER, they didn't even test me for COVID that I could tell. <laughs> and uh, I told them to, because the antibodies are the way you find out these days. That's the only way to really do it. Um, because it's, um, it's, it's splitting so much. And I believe what happened is the day that I dropped off C probe at you know, Portland International Airport to go back to California, I think that was the day that I got COVID because I forgot to bring my mask into an international airport. Great idea on my part. And um, I, sh I, could, I should have just gotten out of there, but I went around looking for coffee. Oh man, some of these are disgusting. Yuck. All right, so I'm in, I'm in a, a diseased area right now, so I'm gonna go find some freshies over here. Uh, you know what, I would love to stream. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the, that dirt on it is worm poop. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, eh. I, I went to one of the best facilities, and so that's what disappointed me. I got a CAT scan, and um, there's cysts on my spleen. Wow, okay. But they did not find cancer, thank God. So that was the big, biggest um, thing, is they were worried that I had uh, some sort of a renal uh, cancer. That was what my most, most of my uh, symptoms were. Um, we're about so but I'm, anyway I'm back I'm not want to talk about that right now I'll, I'll answer your questions whatever whenever I feel like it I try not to think about that um, I'm just talking about the COVID thing take it easy when you have COVID you will get worse your body will just be dealing with it even if the symptoms are mild it's not a mild illness even if the symptoms are mild get your ass into bed and stay there eat nutritious food hydrate blah 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 and don't work like I did and don't try to catch up on things this is the wrong time and uh oh yeah we're in the pumpkin promise land right here um that's just what all I've got to say right now um do not think that oh it's it's not COVID because I have my sense of smell and stuff and my rapid test is negative don't even bother with rapid testing anymore don't bother <clears throat> they're not detecting the new strains. If you really think you have it, you go get an antibody antibody test with a blood draw. And that's the only way to really know anymore. So, this is weird. This, this bout of COVID that had milder symptoms hurt me a hell of a lot more than the original COVID variant that came straight from China that I had. That barely affected me at all. Anyway, viruses change. <clears throat> I'm just feeling really lucky that I'm awake and I'm out of bed and I'm able to walk around right now. I've still got, you know, kind of some signs I'm not uh, super healthy, but hey, whatever. I don't wear makeup. I don't believe in makeup. I'll do it every once in a while, like in a blue moon. Oh, 
We got candidates over here, guys. I found, I found a couple candidates. They're all grouped over here together as if somebody was thinking that they might want these. Oh, thank you so much, Cheryl, for your kind donation. You're an awesome supporter. And, uh, yeah. Uh, what do we have here? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Don't have something wrong with the... Oh. Yeah. Uh, there is something wrong with it. They Maybe they were gathered together because they're bad. This is hard, guys. Um, they sell them in the bins in the front of the farm area. Um, maybe I have to resort to a bin. I mean, I could go to Bowman's Pumpkin Farm in Marion County tomorrow. Could go to Malala. Could go to Battleground, Washington. <clears throat> There's a couple of areas. I could go to the Roloff Farm tomorrow. Do you guys want me to go do that? I mean, I bet they have more restrictive. Maybe they don't care. Maybe they don't care if you stream. Here they don't care. This is the original pumpkin patch on Savi's Island. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, and the funny thing is, is there's a nude beach over there. Like, that way. I'm sure nobody's nude right now. It's 55 degrees. But, <laughs> yeah. Savi's Island is a, it's a really interesting place here. Um, oh man, guys, there's something wrong with, oh man, there's... In fact, at this point, I'm just looking for one that's not messed up. Um, but you go, you want to vote? You only car the front, yeah, but, oh God, I don't want to open it up in there and be like... <laughs> you know, I don't. I mean, this is what you'd find inside. It would look like that. Ugh. Okay, thank you so much for your kind donations. You guys are keeping me alive. I'm so behind in the money. Um because of being unable to stream but it's gonna be cool it's gonna gonna all work out but I bought some more um, equipment for interviewing people I want to did you hear that she goes it's stranger things out here all them pumpkins are dead it's true. It is like Stranger Things. They're dead. And um, if you haven't seen that Netflix show, it's kind of disturbing. But like, there's a, an alien or something like from another dimension, um, and and if, what he does is spread a blight up across the land, and it's pumpkins that get uh, messed up. And so the pumpkin farmers think that you know they have like a in the in the show they they have a um they have a rivalry right trying to attract the tourists and stuff so they think they poisoned each other's farms and so they were going to go to war with each other and like we're threatening each other and the sheriff is like this blight ain't natural you know and then they finally figure it out that it's you know some, some, something else the government comes in to cover it up and says that it's some newly discovered disease and Hushes it all up. Anyway, it's a cool show. Oh my gosh, is this one un untainted? Guys, look. Look. Ah! 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 Sorry, I had to get it out. I'm too late. I'm too late. Too late. I mean, I'm almost at the end. I'm almost at the end. Are the spots soft? How do you think Pumpkin Chunkin started? Yeah. Okay, guys, this is what I'd like to do for you. Let me know if you're interested in it because, yeah, I want to go back to fire streaming real quick, but windows are going to be replaced. Um, my computer isn't still, isn't yet set up for that. Let's see if the spots are soft. This one is, yeah, that's the mold. Oh. I just threw away my toothpick 
in frustration. And wow, we are in the flight path of PDX. It's a weird looking airplane. It's kind of skinny and it's a prop. Okay. All right. So what I want to do for you guys is go to the roll-off farm if I can. Maybe I could stream that tomorrow. Um, and then maybe um, I wanted to do live streaming, driving around, showing you guys the leaves as they become red and stuff. Some of them are red right now, but the rest, I mean, Oregon's got a really bad photography year. I mean, look at these deciduous trees behind me, but they're not changing. Red maples are blazing cherry red right now, which is beautiful, but not everybody has a red maple. It's, uh, it's not really native around here, I don't think. Um, so um, I could do that. I could, um, that looks like BC air. Yeah, it could be. Soft is bad, right? Wash your hands after. Oh yeah, I'm washing my hands. Yeah. I'm going to boil my hands after this, actually. Um, I got gloves, actually. Yeah. Well, I put gloves on. Oh, okay. Here's a can of it. I, okay, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay, I thought about going to special places. You want me to go on the Columbia River Gorge? And then um, show you guys the waterfalls and the old Columbia River Gorge Highway, the one they built at the turn of the century. Why don't monsters eat ghosts? Why? Why not? Is it gonna be like it's ghost test? It's too ghost ghost testing or something like you play on words now? Disgusting, but ghost. I lost Sea Probe. I think, you know what? I think he went on strike and skipped out on me. I actually don't see him anywhere in the landscape. Right there he is. Okay, he's way the hell over there. That. Wait. I can't put. He's way over there. He's one of those dots. Okay. Uh, I really thought there'd be some at the end. But you know, those people are not having luck either. Pumpkin quest continues, but it's looking dire. Because monsters only get... Yeah, you have to tell me the answer. You can't leave me hanging now. I'm going to think about this all night. Why don't monsters eat ghosts? Why? Why? Is it is it because that's not vegan? Because ghosts taste like sheet? You get the thumbs up for today. You get the Catherine Award, okay? <laughs> yeah, oh, see, Probe is watching live from across the field and says the pumpkins have been thoroughly picked over. It's true. Okay, here's the other thing I want to show. You get, tell me if you want to see this stuff, guys. Um, it may have already happened, but the Oregon Zoo um, lets the elephant squish pumpkins once a year. I've always wanted to see that. Last, the only time I ever saw that was when Packy did it. Packy the elephant man. He was he was a legend. He's gone now, but he was the first elephant born in captivity or something like that, at least in North America. And he was huge and uh, very intelligent. But man, that was a long time ago. Childhood stuff. And um, I actually have not seen an intact pumpkin this entire time like we were thinking sizes now I'm just thinking disease free you know this is, the game has changed here um, maybe I should have brought weapons we should have brought weapons we should have just let everybody else do the work and just laid low you know from like this embankment back here in the tree line Yeah, see, everybody else had the corner idea, too. So, because everybody's going around the edges, thinking that's not going to be a thing, it's going to be in the center where there's going to be one. But I think what we should have done is just set up an ambush right over there, brought weapons, waited until everybody else did the hard work, and then ambushed them at the end. You know, we could have hogtied them back there. I'm not talking violence. I'm just talking about a little, you know, 
armed robbery, you know. And then, um, you know, I didn't bring a mask though. This is like a criminal's paradise these days with the COVID thing, you know, you can wear masks everywhere. I didn't even bring one, so. Not only am I unprepared to get a pumpkin, I'm unprepared to rob somebody of a pumpkin. I just feel like such a loser right now. God. All right, okay, here's a couple that look great, but they're not going to be on the other side. We know this game. They look great, don't they? Well. They ain't great. All right, sorry if I'm making guys car sick. All right, I'm going to show you the other cam view. All right, so the Nakia Creek fire is very slightly visible. You see this, guys? Uh, there's a plume there. Um, hardly visible, but it's whiter smoke than the rest of the... Well, it's white smoke against a kind of a gray backdrop, but it's whiter. Now, um... If I go black and white or something, nope, that makes it worse, can't even, bubbles, okay, whoops, that was the bubbles filter, oh, that's like old film filter, okay, none of this works, never mind, they look okay just enough for pumpkin pies, okay. oh, yeah, oh, speed test, we have 117 download, and 65 upload. Wow. Is Not this bad for the middle of a farm? Yeah. Is this 4K or something? It's probably 720, but we're supposed to be on the best T-Mobile has to offer now. When I went to the ruins of Greenville and, um, you know, in California, I did a speed test for uh, T-Mobile and um, it was insane. It was like 586 down and like 386 up. Wow. So I decided to get T-Mobile, and so I'm very happy with this. Um, it's very expensive, guys, so please help me. Please help. Thank you so much for your donations, by the way. Because um, I don't want to be interrupted. The parade I couldn't stream because um, I was just trying out T-Mobile when I was in California, so I didn't have the um, the one where you don't get deprioritized. And about 3,000 other people tried to stream, probably, at the same time. I upload pictures and texts, and so that's when we got cut off at the uh, um, Plumas County 4th of July Parade. I did record it. Yes, I will show you guys that. Hello, guys. Hi, Gigi. Sorry, I'm missing half the chat. I'm very sorry. Um, but I had the speed at Greenville, but uh, or excuse me, at um, Chester during the parade, but I didn't have the priority. So you have to have the Cadillac plan. And that's 95 bucks a month <laughs> for T-Mobile um, to not get bumped when there's uh, a lot of congestion. I think we should go back and um, admit defeat. What do you think, Dave? Uh, C-Pro? 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 Should, should we admit defeat? He's trying to get out of the frame. <laughs> I'm not letting you see. You snuck off there, but that was an unauthorized break, a lunch break. I'm going to write you up for that one. Oh, no, that was Union Worlds. Yeah, sure it was. We'll see about this. Okay, should we admit defeat? Yes, I've walked hither and yon, round and round. Everything's picked over. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think your uh, effort, at your suggestion to uh, ambush would be the best. Hey, maybe we could uh, we could start a pumpkin mafia here. Or I, we should have asked the beavers. This is their territory. The beaver mafia would have worked here. Um, there's lots of beavers here, guys. Oh, thank you so much to Bash and uh, for your awesome jokes too. Uh, you 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 guys are awesome. Um, I have a, a good announcement too. I'm upgrading the computer to the point where I can edit now. So I took a whole lot of footage. I'm not anywhere done with filming in California, and I'm so sorry that I had to skip out on people, but my health failed. It didn't just, like, 
I'm not feeling well. My health failed um, in late August, and so I was not even healthy enough to drive myself back to Oregon. So I got um, kind uh, kind C probe here did it, and then I took him to the Portland airport to so he would go home to California, and um, that's when I got the COVID, and then just went. But you know. It's one of those chicken or egg things. Was I so weak that I got COVID and then COVID stuck around and was worse than usual? Or did COVID, uh, uh, you know, was my body fighting COVID the thing that made me weak that something else took over? No idea. Anyway, I'll talk about health later. I was, kept, kept promising myself I wasn't going to. The hay wagon left without us. The hay wagon left without us. I'm not supposed to be doing this much walking, actually. It's not like there's any chairs out here, but if I find a solid pumpkin, I'm just going to plant my rear on it and uh, create a throne, you know? And um, kids here are so cute. You know, I, I totally trolled some kids, actually. Oh, there it is. There's the mushroom cloud. You see it now? I wasn't kidding. That's the Nakia Creek fire. Mushroom cloud. What is on my nose? I don't know. See it? I ain't lying. Mushroom cloud. And, um, so all this stuff, okay, I'm doing this backwards. It's kind of weird to gesture in the right spot, but, um, that's actually the smoke that spread out laterally when it was only so high in the atmosphere and then it got a boost and the top plume went higher so earlier in the day it was spreading out good i'm glad you guys see it too um earlier today it was a lot more startling and i filmed it back then so yeah <laughs> je cat says that's the pump that's the pumpkin factory that blew up chief t yeah hey chief t how, how are you doing i'm alive barely um i get to find out if I'm like, if I have a life-threatening illness or not. I have to wait on tests. Try not to think about that right now. But um, it really got me thinking about a whole lot of stuff. But um, I am going back to California ASAP to finish the interviews with the survivors of the wildfires to finish some shots. We, um, we got pretty much as much as we could ever hope for uh, flying aerially, thanks to CPRO, of the, um, the Caldor fire. We actually just missed a few where the GoPro batteries would, um, they would um, actually die on the airplane wings. Um, the advertised one hour was BS. And I, got, I was so mad that GoPro released extended life batteries right after I stopped filming. After I bought, uh, I think I bought 15. You guys have no idea how expensive filming is. Um, when it takes three hours to charge a battery, that means you have to have 15 um, to keep uh, more than one camera running throughout the day and a couple extras in case a few batteries fail, uh, which happens. So I, I bought 12 or 15 of those damn batteries and they only ended up lasting 42 minutes. So every time we took off from Jackson, uh, we would basically reach Kirkwood. Um, we were talking El Dorado County here. Um, just as the GoPro battery stopped working. So, so, um, we thought, well, we'll just take off from Tahoe, and I wanted to give Sarah Luna a ride, too. I'm kind of glad I didn't, um, that she couldn't make it, because, oh, God, she would have seen, uh, a lot of devastation, I think, would have been hard for her, so I've got to weigh that. She's still welcome to, and we'll go back sure but I did not at all get able uh, I wasn't able to film any of the Dixie fire whatsoever the uh, Electra fire that uh, threatened John Stoker's house um, I left Plumas County immediately to go down there and then um, we were on evacuation watch the whole time we were at John Stoker's place and um, well for weeks well, thank you so much thank you uh, I hope I'm gonna be okay I sure I will knock on wood but Thing. I mean, I'm like looking at stuff like dialysis and I'm like, uh, oh my God, I never thought I would 
ever be thinking about that. There's an airplane banking going into Portland. Wow. Let me show you this plane. Now that's a big one. It's like a Cathay Pacific or something. That's huge. That's a got to be a 737 at least could be a 747 I don't think it is but no it's just two engines sorry it's two engines could be an Airbus I don't know I'm I usually use flight radar it's like all aboard for the hay wagon we're not going to fit on that so we're kind of making our lazy way over there but yeah I'm going to sit on a pumpkin but God, I'm, I'm so sorry that I kind of disappeared. I really thought every couple of days, I, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be fine. And then finally, when the internal bleeding started, I realized I'm not fine. I'm going to the hospital. Um, and I'm glad I did. But um, so far, the tests are normal, knock on wood. But I'm waiting on some. Um, but let's let's have it, let's save that for another stream. Okay, is that is that a good one? Oh my god. Guys. Uh. <laughs> Guys, am I dreaming? I mean, it's got mud on it. Okay, I hope that's mud. Okay, I hope that's mud. <laughs> is that the reason nobody's taking it? Is that's not mud? Yeah, bugs, there's a lot of stuff going around. I, I'm so mad they didn't test me for the COVID antibody. The RVS or RSV, whatever that is, cold virus, I touched it with my hand. <laughs> that, I've got a napkin. Um, that's mostly affecting children, but some schools are like one half of the students are home with high fevers. But yeah, there's stuff. Um, the whole internal bleeding thing, though, uh, was more like um, kidney failure, so uh, or cancer. So um, I have a lot of the symptoms of cancer, and I'm trying to be checked out for that. Um, but it's probably nothing. It doesn't really run in the family. So I'm lucky on that front. But then what the hell's causing the symptoms? I don't want to think about that. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think if I should grab this pumpkin. What if that's not mud? Do I have to sniff test the pumpkin? I mean, why didn't anybody else take it? It's right here. Yeah, Bugs, I will get tons of extra opinions. I will. Has C probe carry it? Yeah, but I'm not going to make him carry a dog pumpkin, okay? I'm not that cruel. And I don't want it in my car. It's just mud. Flick it off. This is a dilemma. Like, this is beneath me. Like, kneeling down and sniffing a pumpkin to see if it's dog crap on it. This is my life now. <laughs> this is my life now. Oh my god, there's a guy in a ghillie suit. He's ready for an ambush, guys. He's ready for an ambush. Or something. They're scaring the living daylight out of the kids. What is this about? What's this? Don't, don't mind the background upstaging people. There's just a guy in a ghillie suit with a giant eyeball walking by, you know. Never mind. Okay. 
Okay, all right. Yeah, it does look like a nice one. Let me see. Where's my... Where's my... Maybe this is how he snuck in without paying. Now, this place doesn't have a admission. It's one of the reasons we chose it. Next hay wagon is ours, though. I'm going to fight my way on. I'm not walking back, and I'm not sitting on these things. They're a little bit... Compromise. Uh, J.E. Cat says, oh, I'm in the septic industry. I'm sorry. You're in the honey bucket industry, right? Okay. And dog poo is nothing? Man, I'm immune compromised, man. Uh, next thing you know, it'll be the first human case of Parvo or something stupid like that, man. All right. All right. I'm going to brush it off. I'm gloving up. I'm gloving up. I'm not a barbarian, okay? Okay, actually, let's just, uh, yeah. Come on, get off my pumpkin. All right. It's mud. It's just mud. We got one. Look. Looks he probably got one. Yeah. He's inspecting. He's inspecting. Your job now is official pumpkin inspector. Well, how does it look? How does it look? What's the it's verdict? Not bad. What's the verdict? Maybe acceptable. What's the maybe about? The green? Is it bad when they're green? The green and the gray. The green and the gray. What's gray mean? What does gray mean? Mold. Oh, does that mean mold? Does that mean mold? It means mold. You've all been kicked over. Okay, is it is it hard? It's not soft. It thumps. It thumps. It's a little. Oh, it's a little soft though. Oh God, you guys, we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat our pumpkin too. That's the whole thing. Okay, what about that one? What about this one? Is this one okay? Oh no, the top is moldy. Oh, the bug just came out when you pressed it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is one on my finger. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Jules! I'm not even going to look at him. Okay. It's been too wet. It's been too wet. Yes, it has. Organ, what do you, what do you... It's too wet in Oregon. Newsflash for a good pumpkin harvest. There, I can't. Sorry, I can't operate like in a mirror. Look at the look at the Nakia Creek fire plume there. It ain't over. Just it's down, but it ain't out. Isn't that cute? Okay, now can you hold that? I don't want to bite the end of the glove for obvious reasons. Alright, hold that. Thank you. My hair is wrong, so I think it's just coming off. Ah, okay. Okay, alright. Sorry, you guys gotta see my mane for a bit. I never uh, got a haircut after COVID, it's cute. I got lots of hair. Lots of hair. And uh, it just kind of came undone, so sorry, let me arrange that. Okay, it's right. It's good now. Okay. But yeah, that plume, wow, look at this. It's big. It's big. Okay. All right, friends, thank you for donating. Um, what was the verdict? Did you want me to... Did you want me to try to stream from the zoo? The roll-off farm? Or another pumpkin farm where we just find something? What would you like me to do next? Because my computer's not set up for it. So it's got to be like live and in the field. You want to see elephants? You want to see zoo, zoo animals? <laughs> see, Probe just smiled. He hasn't seen anything in Oregon yet. So I'm going to take him around. Or do you guys want... You know, the waterfalls can wait till right after Halloween. Because they're not going anywhere. But we could do Halloween stuff. Um, 
I, um, I wanted to finish a spooky story and have an actual Halloween stream. This may not happen because um, you, know, you have to have the inspiration. I wanted to finish the story that I did last year. Oh, is this is this the waiting line area? Oh, I just stepped in a lot of mud. Okay. Um, well, it's what you guys want. I can always do what I want on my own time. Tell you a Halloween story, okay? Um, whoops, I should have set the phone on mute. Sorry if that was loud. There's a bunch of witches over there. They're wearing witches' hats. They're in witch costumes. I found that really cute. I could read um, Halloween stories, like non copyrighted stuff, Legend of Sleepy Hollow stuff. I could do that. Every time he hears an airplane, he goes and looks at it. That's what pilots do. Yeah. <laughs> um, have I written any other stories? Yeah. Appropriate for Halloween. Mm. Maybe. I, I might be able to find it, but you know what? I just moved the entire uh, office, and so the doomed voyage of the Tonquin might work, but uh, don't know exactly where it is. Um, I used to handwrite everything, and I'm, I'm scanning that stuff now, but, uh, you know, um, yeah, I could, I could look, I could dig, so, um, but here's, I'm not, I'm not promising, so, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do, but yeah, I miss you guys, I miss all of you, um, how about the flight on Halloween and how you survived it, <laughs> the flight on Halloween? Yeah, I was hoping I could be live from airplanes, but I found out that's not legal. Whoopsie. And uh, C Probe, he, he's waiting um, on the Aviation Club membership to be able to fly again. So this is also why I haven't come right back to California. I thought we'd just rent some more airplanes and go. I'm going to walk away from this crowd. They're really loud. Um, I'll just get the plume of the Nakia Creek fire behind me as a, as a weird backdrop. Yeah. So, uh, how oh, I survived it. Um, I've got weird stories, that's for sure. Uh, I'll try, I'll try, how about that? Um, I don't know what the, uh, you know, S22s, ooh, 46% battery, are um, really crappy for battery life. I'm in between phones right now, and S22 Plus is on order as soon as T-Mobile gets their beep together. Um, I got an S22 Ultra and hated it. So, yeah, the Stranger Things movie. Yeah, all these pumpkins are rotted out here. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll try to find something. How about that? Um, I also don't want to hear it. Awesome costumes. <laughs> this is very cool. People are dressed up. It's awesome. Um, apples, apples taste better than pumpkin. Insider. I actually love pumpkin seeds, and they're extremely good for you. They're like a superfood. Maybe I could stream how I make them or something. You put them in the oven and salt, and you put them in a cookie sheet, and yum, yum, yum. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. You know, there's something beautiful happening right here. I'm going to switch cams so you can see it. Oh, because our family? Now, this is the mist, the evening mist coming off the Columbia River, going up, uh, we're looking to the southwest on Savi's Island. That's the mist of the Columbia River uh, creeping up and over the, the hills. And some of it's meeting it from the other side too, from the Willamette Valley right there. And it's, um, it's very beautiful. Not too cold, it's about 55 degrees. Uh, here comes the tractor. Yeah. I don't know why it looks weird when I'm zoomed in, but yeah. And there's a mushroom cloud. Sorry. That's my, that's my ride. Okay, you guys ready for this ride? 
Heck yeah. All right. Let's go. It's going to be crazy and bumpy like last time. Oh, Mount St. Helens. I was going there. I think they just snowed. And I think they just closed Johnston Ridge Observatory. I was going to stream a live trip to Mount St. Helens. I would have done that three days ago. Or, you know, actually last week, right before the, um, the wet weather came. It was so weird and hot here. It was, um, it was in the 80s. It was like 85 degrees last week. But I was bedridden and hospitalized, so. You're right, I need to stay close to the doctors here before going back to California, so. I'm feeling like crap for everybody who was like, where did she go? But I um, nearly died, so then I think that's a good excuse. Or ne nearly almost kind of sort of cat life threatening which may still be I don't know Great, Great, Chief T says load, so why was the jack-o'-lantern afraid back, to back cross to the road uh, we missed the bus do we walk I'm, I'm sure you do. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay we'll just camp out here how about that if we missed the last hay wagon I gotta try to sleep with that on my mind lost out here in this field. Oh, is it haunted? Is the field haunted? Yes, it is. The field's haunted? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I'm taking my seat here. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Abby? What? Oh, yeah. I didn't know if you were talking to me or not. So that would totally straight face. Kids behind us are like... Oh, I was going to tell you how I told the kids. I go into the um, animal barn area, and there's a llama. And so I said, that's the biggest sheep I've ever seen. And these kids go. It was, it was awesome. I wish I could have filmed him, but it's like, you can't do that. You know? Dude, Mad Hatter costume. Oh, so, I have the hat. Oh, I cool. did. You made it cool. I bought mine in Disneyland because I, yeah. you know, I don't have any skills. <laughs> then I squished it in the plane coming back. But oh man, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. I'll film this way so people don't feel like uh, I'm, a, I'm in voyeur mode. Okay. But yeah, we're with a we're with a crowd. Here. Now I'm sticking. You know, yeah, you're a good shoulder rest. I mean. She probed a good tripod right now. He's grinning at me on the other side, but I'm just leaning my hand up. Usually I was so short. All right, we're about to begin. We're about to begin. I'm bracing for impact here. Oh, look at this. The kid wagon's going by. It's adorable. Right, this is Bumpy's loudest ride ever, so just bear with me. We'll, 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 we'll be out in a second. What the heck? Okay, what? I gotta rechat. Live chat. Cut it out. What did the pumpkin say to its carver? Cut it out. No, we started this thing. Oh, really? Okay. Alright. Alright. I'll grab you by the leg and you'll float. Okay. Alright. Hold on. <laughs> See, these people found good ones. Well, it's good that we didn't get. I'm happy. Some people got some. This is a this is a forsaken land as far as a muddy wall. Yeah. It's a forsaken land. Yeah. This lane. My face is in perfect sync to scary music on another channel. Awesome. Ah, right, right, here we go. Okay. I would have lost this phone if I didn't have a ring on the back of it. I can't, I can't recommend enough getting a dang ring on the back of a cell phone uh, case. I got the S22 Ultra thinking it would be the, the highest, like, pollutant, you know, non-iPhone camera, you know, for, like, interviews and blah, blah, blah. And that thing um, was the size of a brick and weighed as much as a brick. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that just wasn't for me. So, um, 
the S23s are coming out in April. So I found out with a thing that T-Mobile does. They're giving $800 away in free credits to get a cell phone. A Samsung. <laughs> You're going to have to reach for the drama <laughs> Don't hold it over the edge. No, 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 yeah, you're right. Okay, I got a ring. I'm gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. All right. Okay, maybe it's not fine. Okay, I need your shoulder again. Stabilizing. Okay. All right. Everybody's looking at me like, what the hell is she doing? I'm live streaming. Okay, that's what I'm doing. But it's on the selfie cam, so don't worry. I'm not filming you. Everything's good. All right. Okay, so. So the that, okay the um the thing with the thing with T-Mobile is I already bought it S22 because the Pixel 6 is the phone of chaos and it wasn't working right. It started dying as soon as I wanted to go to California because that never happens when it's convenient. So I panic bought an S22 for like 650 off of like Amazon. Would you go with that friend group again? C Pro, are you getting wet? Yeah. Negative. Like, I'm sitting on the wet hay bale. Oh, I'm getting wet. Oh. Give me my gloves. Let me sit on my gloves. Oh, my God. I'm the one person in this wagon who got the wet hay bale. Okay. Alright. So, Nakia Creek Fire making a cameo in the background. Ow. My pelvis! Ow! I'm having a good time. Okay. So, so as soon as I bought this S22, all of a sudden, you get the Cadillac plan and a two-year agreement with T-Mobile. They give you $800 in credit towards a Samsung. I'm like, dang it! I wish I knew about that. Ow. Ah. Ah. So I went, okay. But I might as well get one because it's like getting a phone for free. Oh, yeah. Because that's the retail of an S22, the thing I'm holding right here. But I already bought mine, so I figured I'd just get one. And they say, oh, what about the Ultra lady? If you're into video production, you should get that Ultra. Ah. Ah. Okay, we're going down a hill. Look out. There's roots. There's roots. Don't run over the roots and we'll be okay. Ah! Or, or go ahead. Go right ahead. Who cares about trees? And the pelvic safety of your passengers. Okay. Um, Alright, so. So they talked me into this S22 Ultra, and they're like, here, just put some money down on it. And I'm like, okay, that'll be worth it. Then I find out the S23s are coming out in April. They're going to be better. I didn't realize it weighed so much, and the battery life is crap. So sure, it would be the coolest thing to film 8K video in with and, like, do a selfie and whatever, but you'll run out of battery life in, like, a second because the screen is so big. So... Plus, the performance was all fake. The performance was fake. Okay, Samsung's not going to sponsor me. Dang it. I'm, dissing, I'm, dis I'm disrespecting it right now. Ah. Uh, okay. Nope. laughing at me. He's, he's had a grin of delight at all my pain. Yep. Yeah. This whole time. Okay. See what I mean about a wildfire looming over the, the pumpkin patch? It's huge. It's like a nuclear bomb. Okay. So the spleen is also not the liver? Is it not the liver? I thought the spleen was just a neighborhood of the liver. Like developers were like, hey, liver is so passe. We're going to develop this neighborhood and call it the spleen, and that's going to make all of the red blood cells hang out here instead. Really, it's not like that. Okay. <laughs> Good correction. You know, I would film a corn maze with from, um, but all you would see is the same thing over and over again. Oh, hi there. 
Good. Kid waving at us from a hay bale. Right. We're almost back. There's a cool barn here. I'll show you Ow in a second. Oh, that's a good idea. Better than. Okay, I don't care if my butt gets wet. I'm getting off these blocks. Okay. So anyway, with the S22, all the um, super super performance of it was fake because it has this app on it called the Game Booster, which people just ignore or whatever. But the Game Booster. Um, you. Kills the performance of other apps except yeah, for benchmarking you, apps. So I realized that phone is not all that, and the cameras are just about as good on these. So I took it back. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Okay, let's disembark. All right. Uh, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have to chill. I'm going to have to tell my doctor um, the embarrassing story of how I also fractured a pelvis. Okay. All right. All right. Get, all right. I'll be right with you guys. I'm going to carefully navigate stairs. Thank you. We, got, we are on the solid ground now. We're on solid ground now. Okay, let's go over to a quiet place like the barn or something. Let me head to the okay. lavatory. Okay, lavatory. You can tell he's a pilot. Okay. Okay. All right. No problem. Thanks for coming out. Hi. We don't have a pumpkin, so we don't have to go to customs right now. <laughs> okay, we're going to find this quiet barn and just be over here somewhere. Okay, so I should make it sure where you were. Oh my, I've got so much mud on my shoes. It's no, bad. she's good. I just wanted okay. to make sure she found you. Okay. It's a cool barn. Yes, I'm gonna get new tech. So I returned the S22 Ultra and um, shipped it back. And I was like, can I have my money back, please? Hey, Smitty. Hello. Sort of, yeah. I'm going to do another stream, guys. It's a thank you stream for everybody who's helped me. I want to properly list everyone's names. That's what the delay is. I'm so incredibly grateful of even $5 donations right now. Because gas is still almost that much. And I want to go and try to document more things before their snow comes. I need to buy some more um, video equipment. I'm scraping mud off my shoes, sorry. Um, to do interviews proper, proper and good, and you know, make them look pro. Because I don't want to do this to people. Hi, can you tell me about how you lost everything in a wildfire? Oh wait. Yeah, you just cried there, but can we shoot that again? Because I screwed up. You know, I either wasn't rolling on one camera because a battery got messed up, or uh, turns out that. Uh, you know, that was the wrong resolution. You want to have multiple cameras and just pro gear that you practice with so that this never happens. You know, I would hate, I would hate to do that. Okay, guys. It's, uh, it's, they've got a cool uh, newer structure over there with lights on it. It's pretty cool. This is a very unflattering selfie camera um, because of its, uh, its millimeters, you know. Oh, thank you, Chief T. Thanks. Is that you, Alan? That is you, Alan, right. And once again, I apologize for like nearly dying here, but I promise I won't. How about that? Knock on wood. That's not wood. That is. Okay. All right. Okay, I've got most of the, what I hope is just mud off of my shoes. Oh, it is you. Okay, good. Um, I, I, um, yeah, I'm just not going to think about what else could be out there in a farmer's field. Okay. So, yeah, bugs. I don't think we're as close as, um, as you think we are. I'm not exactly. See, I used to live where you, where you're kind of near. Sorry, I, I got really behind in chat there. But, um, 
Nobody's heard of where I live, so I don't bother explaining it. Besides, that's not really good for streamers, you know, security. You know, I do have security up the wazoo, and anybody who wanted to target me would uh, get a nasty surprise, because I'm used to walking around armed. That was my former job, and I'm not going to elaborate on what my former job was, but, uh, yeah. Anybody tried to mess with me would get a nasty surprise. I'm not one of those, oh, I'm a badass or anything. No, I'm not, but I'm not your average chick. Uh, but, wow, it really looks like a mushroom cloud is super forming. But look at this sea probe. Look. Just let, me, let me show you guys in the light. It really is looming over the uh, landscape now, the, uh, the mushroom cloud. It's, it actually looks more um, worse in person than it's, than it's showing up on the camera. So, I mean, I'm live streaming from a very public place. That's why I tagged where it was. Um, plus, I have male escort, and there's tons of people around here. Um, but, you know, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to be like, oh, hi, I'm live from the middle of nowhere, and I'm going to be here for the next six hours. Come get me. You know, um, chick streamers have died that way. So... Um, but I wanted to get back to fun, fun here. Now there's a bunch of pumpkins over there, but I don't think I'm going to go over, you know, to this thing, to the pumpkin bin, because I might as well be at a grocery store. You know, I want to, I want to pick it, I want to pick it out. I want it to call to me, you know, I want this pumpkin to be like, take me, take me from, from the earth. You know, I mean, it's funner. It's fun. So I'll look back at chat once this is over. I've got to drive home now before it's too dang dark. This weird thing about the atmosphere is like it's sunset, but you can't see the sun. But you could see pink in the clouds. The faintest, palest uh, pink um, is back behind me. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's really not showing up in cameras because uh, digital cameras don't like to do pink. That's just the thing they struggle with. Um, anybody who's tried to capture a sunset and had it turn out yellowy and orange, you know, you know what it's about. Um, trying to get a good background backdrop here. Anyway, so um, what do you guys want? Do you want us to focus on? Uh, Driving while live streaming, this is a possibility, but I won't be able to monitor uh, the camera that much. So I'll have GoPros. I don't know that I can, yeah, I can only film with the GoPros instead of stream at the same time, so it wouldn't be captured. So I'd have GoPros in case we lost the feed. Wow, my hair looks gross. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's not like I took my makeup kit out here to the pumpkin farm. Um, do you want uh, to see the fall foliage, like in a drive? It might be pretty hard because of the rain. you want the zoo? you want the waterfalls? Or do you want, like, from the house streaming? You know, what do you want? Uh, my camera's not set up right now like the computer isn't. I'll have to figure it out. Saying my neighbor goes to that beach doesn't identify a location. Oh, no, no, that's from earlier. I had to scroll up and look at chat. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely could meet up, Bugs. You, me, a uh, big dog, uh, t probe now, um, can meet up. And, you know, people who aren't too far away. Um, might be somebody like Torin2, if he ever came back. Torin2, uh, was from my first year of streaming in 2020 when all that chaos was going on. And he's the one whose lightning struck his neighbor's car. And I was like, go take a picture of it. He goes, okay. I'll do that right now. And I was like, no, no. And he goes, I'm just joking with you. Of course, I wouldn't go out in a lightning storm. I was like, oh, God. It's not going to see him get struck by lightning. That, that does, that's a fun story. But, yeah, um, we could set a date. Um, I could have a Portland meetup. Like, our, for people who are out of the uh, out of house, um, let's see. No, I'm sorry, Cheryl. I just confused you with somebody else. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really confused when people change their names um, on YouTube. Alan. <coughs> 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 
Um, no, no, I'm sorry. You, you didn't make a wrong comment or anything. Um, Cheryl, if you're... Let me think here. You're in Canada, right? Or California. One of those seas. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, I'm also not very with it. I'm, I'm upright. I don't want to be. I want to find somewhere to sit down, actually. Everybody's taking the benches. But I'm, uh, I'm still not 100%. That's right, you're in BC. In the coastline, you're not too far away. I mean, I could be in Canada in 10 hours. Um, what about Victoria? Oh, you're in the lower mainland. That's harder. That's harder, but I wonder if a train goes that way. Um, I could stream live from a train in certain spots. Um, I tested Amtrak California to, to, uh, to Portland, Sacramento to Portland, and it's mostly a dead zone, unfortunately. Um, but you know, Portland to Seattle might be a thing. Um, but it's, it's all going to depend on money and health and stuff, so I'm just trying to figure out what can I do streaming right around here so not too far away from my doctor's hospitals and the stupid tests they want me to continue to get here. So. You're near the ferries, so you can meet me. Yeah, I could, get, I could be in Olympia fast. Pretty fast. Mass services, I'm in Massachusetts on the sofa, right? right. No. Oh, and exciting uh, news is, remember Terry Ann? Guys from the stream, Terry Ann in Tasmania? We're gonna do a co-host stream on his channel. Go sub to 41 South. He needs some subs so he can get monetized. But remember, it's Terry Ann? Yeah. So, go to the YouTube channel 41 South and it shows a boat because he's a, a smitty nose, you know, he's, he's, a, he's nautical, right? So, we're talking and we'll do a, a co-hosted stream. Um, Olympia, no, not Olympia, Port Angeles. Port Angeles, I'm sorry. I could be in Port Angeles fast. Well, it would take a day. Antrac runs into Vancouver, BC from Seattle, really. Yeah, let me see if I can find my passport. The last time I went to Canada, I went in without a passport. It was not a good idea. They let me back in. Sort of. I sort of snuck in. That's a long story. We won't talk about that now. Not live. But yeah, I'll, I'll get a passport this time. Yeah, uh, 41 South. So. I'll tell you when we coordinate that. He's not in the best health either, so we're like in the sick, we're, we're totally sick club. We're not a good club to be in, but we support each other. So sorry I'm not 100% with it right now. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, you look for it? Cool. Thanks, guys. And I'm sorry I missed a ton of chat. If you had questions for me and feedback and stuff, sorry. It was a bit rough. Enough. I also want to get an actual, um, with your do kind donation money, I want to get some sort of like an earbud microphone thing for walking around so that this isn't so ghetto as I'm just I'm just holding this outstretched arm mode, you know? I don't have a selfie stick or anything, this is just, you know, if we get enough $5 donations, we can get something better here. So you can hear me better and blah, blah, blah. And I'm, I have this idea of holding a pole, it would be my invention, I'll patent it, so that there's a, a forward-facing camera in a rear, right? So you could see what I'm, I'm, uh, what I'm seeing, and then I could put a picture-in-picture -picture version of my own small uh, portrait in the bottom right-hand corner. And then we wouldn't be flipping back and forth. I think that might be kind of cool. So, if we get enough little donations, we can make that happen. I'm pretty sure of it. But, um, let's see. It's good pretty dark. I wish I could show you animals. That barn is not lit, and they're, like, gone to bed. Um, he, he really wants to be part of the show. You can see this. He's like, I'll just check my phone in the background here. What are you talking about? Uh, yes, yes. You, you could be my co-host if you wanted to, see, bro. I don't anyway. want to steal the spotlight. You can't. You doubt me. I think I was just insulted. 
No, that's my reaction to you insulting me. You dare think that you could steal my spotlight? I know I could. And I wouldn't want to do that to you. All right, show's over. We're going home, folks. All right, bye. I'm leaving him. I'm leaving you. Walk home. I mean, swim, because this is an island. Bye. Oh, he's the sweetest thing. He's amazing. Um, so, um, yeah. Anyway, I don't remember what the heck I was saying. Sorry, I'm being, uh, it's in the collision course with a pumpkin uh, cart there. Uh, the Nakia Creek fire, you can no longer see the plume uh, by camera. It's still there. It's, it's very tall, though. I mean, what what footage, I mean, how many feet tall do you think that, that is? Uh, it's no longer visible by, by camera, but how, super, how tall is that? Mm -hmm. You're the person who's supposed to know about altitude, Mr. Pilot. I judge it from. I don't know, call it maybe 2,000 feet. Could be more, could be less. That's a lot more than 2,000 feet. Okay. I'm going to say right now, that flew. Well, let's see what the ceiling tells us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's got, he's got some, some apps. We're about wrapping this up, but if you guys have any... Uh, uh, do you want to see something in the Pacific Northwest? I'll go film it. It's got to be kind of in a radius near Portland. Uh, Because that Portland, I can be at within hours. You know, it's not a big deal. Sometimes, sometimes an hour traffic ain't horrible. Oh, there's one. Now, hood. Okay. Except for it to be like. That's slow doable. Time. That's a wintertime thing. I've got all-wheel drive. It's kind of far away from medical facilities, though. I'd hate to have a medical problem and have a blizzard on Mount Hood and then not be able to get off. Um, but that's let's put that on the list. I think I think Mount St. Helens is now closed because the last time I looked at their live webcam, which is live right now, it was uh, forecast for snow on um, Coldwater Ridge. Cogito, thank you so much for kind donation. Hey guys, Cogito was my first mod, and like real firefighter too. Okay, he's, he's uh, the awesome. Okay, what? The ceiling, the base of the clouds over PDX right there is 900 feet. So All right. The bottom of the clouds, 900 feet, that goes up to the almost touching the base of the clouds. So it's no more than 900 feet. It's no more than 900 feet tall. Thing. Okay. I was going to say like 15,000 because I have numbers dyslexia. No, I wasn't. I was going to say well, five. That would certainly be more dramatic. I was going to say five, but okay. All right. Cool. You're, you're useful for something. Uh, I think. <laughs> he's a joy to, to work with. Okay, he should have his own show. I keep saying, he would have the best show called Pi Real Pilot Reacts Two. I showed him some Mayday videos and stuff, and he's like, "Oh man, they need to pull that dial and they need to press that button right away." And I pause the show, and all of a sudden it's like, the pilot pushed that button and pulled that dial, and that saved the plane. And he's like, "Yeah, that would be a cool show." I think. Um, Sometimes, like Mayday, you don't know what's wrong with the plane. The, it's also called air crash investigations. What? Okay, okay. Um, it's getting grainy here, but I've still got some light. Oh, he would be awesome with a show. Totally would. Air ambulance rides very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, Shaz 73, go sub her, S H A Z 73. Also. Um, takes morning walks near Hadrian's Wall every day in the York area, northern England. And uh, she's got really shaky footage until she gets a uh, stabilizer. But, I mean, she'll have donations in no time for that. I mean, here, here I am with the shakiest on earth footage. You know, I'll try to get something too in the hay wagon, you know, there. Um, she does like morning walks and then she just like checks out plants and meets people and she's afraid of cattle which is adorable and so she walks through cattle fields like don't look at me don't look at me that one looked at me oh my god okay okay that one that cow's getting up that cow's getting up oh my god you know it's really hilarious but i really love her morning walks like if i'm in the middle see it's england so it's not like we can catch a lot of those if i'm up at like three in the morning you know 
I got a Hood River Astoria, Astoria Japanese Gardens Astoria. Yes. Yeah, Farmstead Streams too. Yeah. Totally good. Um, sorry, I'm really out of it. Oh, God, oh my God, there's a bench. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm on a bench. Okay. Yay. Just trying to get people in the back now. Yeah. All right, that was a pelvis shattering experience. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you, everybody, for the donations. Like, even a buck matters right now. And I'm so grateful. And I'm so grateful for people who have done more. Um, I have used some of the money, but I want to make this like a big uh, thank you stream. But I now can video edit 4K and even 8K videos now. I'm pretty sure I have the, the capability. Um, and I'll detail that more later. Is you know, like technical streams should be different than um, health streams, different than fire streams, different than pumpkin patch streams. This is technically a fire stream. Um, then the thing I'm about to do, for real this time, is split the channel into Catherine's world of wildfires is wildfire stuff. And I, the people who only just need wildfire info, should not be bothered by random. Um, you know, subscription notices and subscribe if you haven't. I'm sorry. I hate it when people say that. If you have forgotten to subscribe, go ahead. I think that's better than like, like and subscribe me. If you have to tell somebody to like you, no. This is your mic. Um, if you want to know stuff about wildfires, this one, if you hit the ringing bell button, will be just wildfires. I'm going to split the stream into another channel that says Catherine's World of... Oh, you good? Yeah, you know, it'll be like computer stuff. I can teach people how to use computers and stuff and talk about that. Um, the ins and outs of the technicalities of filming, uh, camera work, blah, blah, blah. It'll be advice too, how to use phones. The first one I'm going to make is about how everybody right now in the entire country should check their phone and make sure that wireless emergency alerts is turned on and functional because new Android versions, Android 12 and maybe even 13, have that turned off. So if you have anything like Watch Duty, FEMA, um, emergency apps, um, make sure that the button is not checked that says remove permissions and free up space. Oh, Wildcat, thank you so much for your kind donation. Make everybody here have. Remember, there's a PayPal link too in the channel description. Um, Although I'm a bit leery about PayPal right now. Because PayPal just has some thing where, like, they can fine you now and take $2,000, $2,500 out of your bank account for spreading misinformation. As a. We're gonna get sued about this. But it's still not gone from their terms and conditions. So, PayPal, I'm like, okay. Anyway, back to what I'm saying. Um, and thank you, everybody. Um, if you look in your phone, if you have Android, Go to your emergency apps and uncheck the box, remove permissions and free up space. Because if you don't use an app frequently enough, it gets disabled automatically now by Android. And that's been a lot of people with the mosquito fire. Um, when that came out, they said, we're not getting our notifications. That's why not only is that stupid button there for regular apps, it's also there for the app called Emergency Alerts. It's a system app. Works like this, like, it's supposed to protect your privacy and stuff. Like, say you scan a barcode with grocery store app X, right? To get a price check. Well, it needed your camera permission, right? And so Android thinks it's being helpful to you and your privacy by, you haven't used that grocery app in a couple of weeks. It's going to remove the camera permission from that app. But it's going to remove all permissions, actually. Even the ones that say notify me. So it does this for emergency apps. I found out that Watch Duty, the Red Cross emergency app, FEMA, and my built-in Pixel wireless emergency alerts app, the one that comes with the phone for like tornadoes, like are coming your way. So it's like reverse 911. That was turned off. And if you go and look at these things, once those permissions are removed, they can't notify you. 
they can't do anything. Um, so my first tech advice video will be fix that right now to save your life. Who knows, people may have been killed already by this. Um, I'm going to beg for a petition uh, for Google to also not put that setting as default on any sort of emergency app. Um, holy crap. So, um, I'm going to have Catherine's World of Wildfire. And then Catherine's World of Ghost Towns. History, not paranormal crap. Sorry if you believe in paranormal. I don't mean to call it crap, but to me, I, I don't. So, I meant to say stuff. Um, that's going to be about history and me touring ghost towns before they're gone. And old timer stories. Um, I also have another channel in mind, Catherine's World of Animals. <laughs> Just me out interacting with animals. Did some minor animal rescue, you know. Not anything to write home about, but I mean, to some people, rescuing a possum is like, oh, but some people are like, I don't give a damn about no possum. I'm gonna unsub. So you gotta split the split the channel. So this is what we have. See pros back. Hello. You're hungry. Okay. All right. Uh, I suppose I should take C Pro home. Get him off this island. Because swimming is a little harsh. Uh, I don't think they close the bridge at night. Though. Yeah, I don't think they do. They used to a bit a long time ago. Um, I can still see that uh, smoke thing kind of distantly in the horizon. It's just looming over everything. Yeah. I can't believe we're still talking about wildfires right now. Uh, J.E. Cat, the price of aviation fuel right now is um, it's uh, six six bucks six bucks a gallon. I just checked that yesterday. So American. So that's cheaper than premium gas. At least around the Portland area. All right. Okay, I gotta wrap this up for real now. So. Um, I'll try to stream the next few days. Uh, try to do something for Halloween. But um, thank you everybody for being here. And um, I'm not dead yet. Because it was like seven feet. Not But it's, uh, I'm not out of the woods. It's just, I have really scary symptoms. So thanks for all the thoughts and prayers. And um, I'm going to drive home now. I'd stream that too, but it's dark. And um, we'll see what we do. Remember, my email is the same. Catherine.Davidson.Wildfires with an S. At gmail.com. Get in touch with me. Um, if you have any special ideas, you want to send me links. Um, I do take Amazon gift cards or gift cards to anything, restaurants, gas. Um, and you can do that by email. You usually have an old gift card where you used all of it, except for like two bucks on it. I'll use that two bucks. You know, you can just tell me what the code is. Um, anything helps right now because, dang, uh, being this ill and not having any income and stuff, um, except for um, what last month's streaming did. So whenever Google pays you, it's it's like 60 days later, is whenever they decide to pay you. And um, so even if I get stuff right now, it's going to come in later. So, but I really, really do appreciate you guys so much love you so much and uh you aren't dead right yes i'm not i actually got some some color in me <laughs> although i could probably walk out you know last week i could have walked outdoors without makeup on and just looked like i was death anyway just hold a sickle and everybody went like nice makeup i'm like i'm just dying oh my god but uh yeah i'm gonna go take it easy now and um i've been eating really good food i got my comfort food yesterday i got butter chicken from India Palace, whatever the hell that place is called. Oh, onion free. Oh. But yeah, got um, friends and family taking care of me, and you guys too. So yeah, I'm gonna get back on an, uh, an exercise bike and see if I can at least burn some calories per day. My pulse is no longer racing out of control, just um, I'm, I'm proud of myself for walking around the field today. I held up pretty good, so that's awesome. And uh, now I have to make sure I don't do too much. Oh, Desi sends her best. Hi, tell her hi. Yeah, 
So thanks, friends, for uh, hanging out with me. Um, the like button on your way out would help um, get the channel back into like the algorithm thing. When you're inactive, Google pushes you down in all search results, and it gets bad. So that's that's very helpful if you liked today's live from the pumpkin field, impromptu, random spur of the moment stream. It's funny. I, I, I'm sorry, I see Prova. I just sprung it on him. He's like, "I'll take you to get a pumpkin," and then all of a sudden we're live for two hours. And he's standing around in the cold. <laughs> He's a sport, though. He's awesome. Okay, guys. Catch you on the flip side. Stay safe, everybody. Stay healthy. And uh, be well. See you soon. Now I turn it off. Okay.